Welcome to the Calico Cat. I'm Dr. Helen Marle, and I'm excited to share this piece with you. This piece was inspired by one of my favorite cats growing up, whose name was Pasticcio. In Italian, the word means mischief. When something is a pasticcio, it's simply a mess. The kind of mess that you don't get yourself out of easily. Anyone who has ever had a kitten or a cat knows that they certainly have mischievous behavior. Calico cats can be any breed of cat. They are named calicos because they have three colors of fur on them. Almost all calicos are female and every one of them has different patterns on its body. As you watch me play this piece, what do you imagine this particular cat is doing? Perhaps you might like to make up a story about it or you might like to just have an image in your mind of a playful cat. practice, the five finger patterns need to be even and steady with a short staccato note at the end of each of these short phrases. This is how we succeed in doing this. Slowly playing each key, feel grounded with your arm weight dropped into the key bed. Use a little weight transfer, which means that you will shift the weight of your arm, wrist, and hand in the direction of the phrase. On the last note, when you play with your fifth finger, feel your wrist and forearm moving forward and off the key. As you play these five finger patterns, move forward into the wood of the piano so that you are playing on your finger pads and not on your fingertips. Playing on your fingertips makes one grip or brace the keys, which produces tension and unevenness. The power for this lovely motion here comes from the upper arm. Play this at a thinking tempo five to eight times correctly every day. Now let's play this phrase up to tempo using the proper technical gestures you just learned. You can go back and forth between a thinking tempo and a tempo in order to remember how the gesture feels as well as listen to the sound it creates. This is very important to understand how the physical gestures we use for playing creates the desired sound. Conversely, students need to be encouraged to think about what sounds they wish to create in a piece and then apply the physical gestures and touch releases that will create the desired sound. It's also very important that the movement at the end of the phrase is forward and off and not a round circle like this. So instead of doing this, <laughs> we want to make sure that the student moves forward and off the keys. If the student is playing with round circles, the sound will get smushy. Uh, there won't be any evenness in the eighth notes. The end of the phrases won't be short and clear and crisp. There will be tension in the hand, and uh, it will look hilarious when the elbow is jutting out and the body is moving forward in an awkward way. So we definitely want our students to think about that sh shaping of the phrase by shifting their weight in the direction of the phrase, moving forward into the wood of the piano, and then pushing off the keys. In the penultimate line played by the left hand, we can also use the exact same approach of dropping each finger into the key bed, feeling grounded here, using a little bit of weight transfer, and then pushing forward and off the keys, slowly at first, and then more quickly. This particular touch release is called a push-off touch release. There are five basic touch releases, and each one focuses on the approach as well as the release from the key. Touch releases allow pianists to create the articulations needed in pieces, 
to shape phrases beautifully and play with freedom and healthy body friendly technique. Listen carefully when you use this push off touch release because learning it will take your playing to an entirely new and artistic playing level. It's wonderful that this piece is in the celebration series. It's also in the succeeding at the piano method grade 2B as well as in the all-in-one approach to succeeding at the piano book 2C. This method is truly a comprehensive holistic approach to learning how to play the piano and it is where students learn and review consistently the five basic touch releases along with other important techniques. Enjoy learning this piece! Thank you.